was great fun. Like doing the animations and stuff, making them do things which humans can do, but they're not humans, they're clay. Although at the moment you can see me and I'm looking as if I am made of clay, but I'm not. <laughs> I did wonder how they got all the, the um, interactive stuff from using so I think someone would have done this, but I didn't think that I'd ever, ever be a part of doing it. I think it's better, it's more fun, yeah. I guess if like, because you're, you know how you're saying about your tree trunk and like touch skins now, it's like more like, get involved, watch people get involved, like and watch things and all. it's good. Are we being recorded? Right now. It's been really fun because like you've been able to like yeah, you, it's something new that you don't do every day kind of thing. I thought it was fantastic. I, think, I had a really good time. So. I think the animation's been really good yeah. too. It's, yeah. been, it's really been really fun. different, but in a good way. Yeah, learning, learning, yeah. learning We've new We've just been skills. like filming, like properly like filming now, we're filming in a different kind of way. Like learning these skills, cause I haven't really, I Summer haven't done skills. it before, so it's yeah. good to learn. Yeah. yeah, oh it's fantastic. It's associated with the museum, but yeah. I think it's good that like, it is that you're putting yeah. it into a museum because it's much more like fun and like friendly for children. Yeah, yeah. Because normally, like people associate museums with like dinosaurs and everything, but I think it's good to sort of Theory. get yeah and get children and kids get like children and teenagers into, like, yeah really interested in everything. Actually, seeing what museums can be about. I haven't heard. I haven't heard any of them. I haven't. Heard 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 I heard like one or two, but I didn't know. I have a book about it <laughs> that I brought in, and it turns out we already had it here. Oh. I hadn't heard any of the stories before. I'm glad I didn't hear the stories though, because they were quite cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a weird way. <laughs> Mention again if I had the opportunity, because it was really fun. Definitely. Yeah, yeah same. same. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday came up again, I'd definitely do Grab it, it with both hands. Firmly, tie grip there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you yeah, for yeah, thank thank you very, you. Much. very much for being great coming fans. along and yeah, cool. teaching it to us kind of thing. Yeah, and involving us and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I know we can be little monsters sometimes. <laughs> yes we can. Get it? Dun -dun. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun -dun. Well, Stuart from the Museum Partnership came over to work with a group of our young people and they've worked on many different projects and it's been fantastic to see the outcomes that the young people have um, achieved. Um, a lovely lad called James Fairfield, he did fantastically and actually shot a scene with um, uh, plasticine models, I think you used to call them plasticine, and it was fantastic, a brilliant outcome. Another fantastic thing that um, was an outcome of this, this project was that young people actually went to the Whittlesea Museum and they learned about their local culture and heritage, and that was fantastic. Um, they also learned about um, a, a local, I think you call it folklore, Fenland folklore, which was um, Long Tom and the Dead Hand. And it gave young people a real insight to life in the olden days, if you like, and of um, how people used to tell stories to share their experiences because of course there wasn't television. So that was a, a real eye opener for them. It was also brilliant to see um, lots of young people taking part in dancing with potentially what could be seen as an uncool uh, dance or art form, which is the molly dancers. The pig dyke molly dancers came over and a group of, I don't know, eight to 10 young people all got involved and they danced for, I don't know, 20 minutes and learned a routine and that was fantastic. They also made themselves up and they made each other up and uh, they also, this is part of their local heritage and culture because, of course, the strawberries in Whittlesea.
a lot of the young people also got their Cambridgeshire Youth Award through um, partaking in these projects. Um, in fact, I'd say 75% did, um, so that's fantastic. And some of them even went on to uh, get three Cambridgeshire Youth Awards, which means they get um, a locally recognised accreditation. So fantastic, hat off to them. And um, if I'm being honest, I'm not a loc an expert in uh, local uh, history and things, and I've learned a lot, and the other youth workers have learned a lot, and that now means that we, we have that knowledge and can uh, uh, pass it on to young people's staff, and we know where to come if we need anything else. So thank you to the Museum Partnership. Thank you. It's been really good for the group and the way the confidence has been built up and how they've learned to work as a team especially with a group with so many needs, basically. <laughs> <laughs>